huge limited investor sell-off soon? Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into why we might see a potentially big sell-off from investors in Lemonade stock in the near future. So we know Lemonade stock has been a very attractive investment since its IPO in June. Many investors have fled to the stock because of its intent to seize a huge market share of the next generation of insurance purchasers, which would target many millennials and people under the age of 35. With their emphasis on the simplification of insurance purchasing technology and social awareness, they have become a great investment vehicle that since the summer, when it IPO'd, it has been able to have immense returns tallying around 350%. Although the company is very small when looking at its other peers, the long-term outlook and growth has been great. But according to its IPO prospectus, we see that the company's lockup expiration for its shares from private investors is expiring tomorrow. Now we know that when companies go public through the traditional IPO route, there is a period of time that has to pass before insiders are allowed to sell their shares in the public market. Now we know this is done to artificially prop up the price and have the stock gain some momentum because that is one of the main purposes of IPOing. You wouldn't want your stock to IPO and then have it crash a few days later, which would in turn sour investors on your stock and you would gain negative attention. So for Lemonade specifically, we see that this lockup expiration is huge considering the fact that 44 million shares will become available to the public market, which is a huge flood considering that represents more than three-fourths of all outstanding shares the company has. So you see where this can become an issue in the near future if you're looking into Lemonade stock. Now they also had another lockup expiration that occurred on November 12th, where another 15.8 million shares were made available to trade to the public. Although that didn't cause a huge decrease in Lemonade's price per share, we need to acknowledge that this lockup expiry will flood the market with three times that amount, which does in turn create a huge supply problem in the stock. So really it's all about risk mitigation in this scenario. It doesn't have to drive the price down dramatically, but we have seen this occur before, such as the lockup expiry like we talked about in previous videos with Nikola that crashed after private investors were able to sell their shares in the market. These deals for these private investors are very lucrative for these companies because they've already made immense gains in such a short time. That is something they all like to do, which is funnel their money into new upcoming hyped companies, and then they get out sometimes with these huge gains in a few months. That is also part of the value proposition for having your stock underwritten by these premier investment banks, such as Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan before it IPOs, which includes the traction your stock gets leading up to it being traded in the public markets. So heading into tomorrow and potentially the next few weeks, we can't see a lot of volatility from more lemonade shares being in the market. Just be aware of the risk associated with holding your lemonade shares in the short term through these issues. It's notable that long term wise, these lockup expiries don't affect the stock price much because long term price action depends on the long term outlook. And this shouldn't be that big of an issue barring any setback with the fundamentals of the company. So guys, drop a like and now let's head to the stock chart. So guys, look at the stock chart of Lemonade Inc. We do see that we had the huge decline in price ever since it IPO'd, but we have been getting rebounded since November at around the $46 mark, and we did trend all the way to the $137 region. Now, what are the key areas that we are looking at here in the stock? Well, it would be around this 0.5 level on the Fibonacci sequence and this 0.618 level. What we do like is the fact that we have the 20 exponential daily moving average sloping up into this region over here. And this can act as a nice support level considering that it was a support level once we started flipping bullish over here and we started creating higher highs. And you guys see that we did pop around 20% during that week in early December, which did signify this was a nice support and uptrend in the stock. So really it comes down to these regions where we can ladder in buys and potentially look for some medium term pop in the stock in the near future. Now let's head into the weekly chart just to get a clearer picture. And what I do like on the weekly chart is again, we have this 20 exponential weekly moving average sloping up into this region guys. Now barring a huge crash over the next week or into the next few weeks, we can see this 20 exponential weekly moving average slope up into this area. And why is this area so significant? Well, it was a reversal point during July, and we did see the stock downtrend over the next few weeks. 
and we did, of course, test back into it and eventually break it. And we used it as support twice before continuing this uptrend. So really the 618 level and the 0.5 level on the Fibonacci sequence do show potentially huge investor support regions for this stock in the near term if we do see a dip over the next few days. And of course, a trade that we can take on in the stock to be more conservative and potentially play a nice breakout and have a nice risk to reward we can see that if the stock downtrends back into this region, we can risk about 7 to 10% on our trade to potentially gain a much higher uptrend back to test new all-time highs to potentially maybe even a 3 to 1 to 4 to 1 gain in the stock in the near future if we do bounce off of this region. Remember guys, risk mitigation is key in these levels and for these new stocks that are very volatile or stocks that can potentially see huge volatility in the near future. So that would be the region that I would be looking at to potentially ladder in buys and potentially get a rebound play in the stock in the near future. So these three confluence levels, which is the 20 exponential week moving average the 618 level after this huge move and this previous rejection point turning into support are the key regions we want to look at in lemonade stock so guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content leave a comment down below letting me know what you're doing with lemonade inc and get four free stocks when you use the link in the description below and sign up for weeble the deal expires soon thank you guys for watching and have a great one